Internet, you are not going to believe this. But right now, in the living room, talking to my mom is my dad. The electrician, that's right, that dad. He, he looks exactly the same as he did 30-something years ago, last time I saw him. He looks younger than me. And, but still, I gotta call him sir. I mean, I'm not saying that he looks better than me, but, well, everybody else does. You might have also noticed uh, some, like, change in the decor around here. It's, it's like, uh, it's like uh, shabby chic, except all my stuff got repoed. So like shabby chic, only all my stuff got repoed. So that major fault line guy, he's been like traveling in space and time and something. Does he get like, you know, aeromajiggy miles or time minutes or something from that? I don't know. But I, I don't know, like, uh, anyway, he went to that other time zone, which is uh, like another dimension in space and time. And not, you know, another time zone, like mountain time or Pacific. Because, like, I told my dad, like, what, you just been hanging out in Vancouver for 33 years? And then he took off his utility belt. And you don't sass the electrician. Well, my dad says, okay, the other time zone, it's like a, a, a dimension outside of regular space and time. And it's where the missing things go, like your socks, or the dinosaurs, or uh, my pride in my son, he says. Well, anyway, that's where he and the Mega Powers League wound up. That's his old superhero team, because, like, they were fighting uh, Professor Foreshadow in them their obfuscated wars, and he used um, his Atom Smasher machine to send them there. I guess they didn't see that coming, huh? Jeez! Ugh. Well, anyway, he's a good guy, Internet, so long as you don't sass him. Or say something positive about the government. I'd introduce you to him, but I'm not allowed to leave my room. <laughs>